Tēnā tātou kato. Good evening. New Zealand has finished just outside the top ten in the world happiness rankings. More on that later in the program. But first, recession. Gross domestic product fell 0.1% in the December quarter. It was the second quarter in a row the economy shrank, which means we're officially in recession. As well as that, the government is going to slash more than 350 jobs at the Ministry for Primary Industries and 180 at the Ministry of Health. So the axe is beginning to fall on the public service. In response to the hundreds of people losing their jobs, David Seymour reposted an ACT Party tweet saying... Good. Political editor Jenna Lynch begins our coverage of a big day for the economy. This is the front line of the backbone of our economy, the Ministry for Primary Industries. Today it became the front line of job cuts. It's really tough, it's really tough and I really identify and I empathise with those individuals and those families. News Hub has seen a copy of the email MPI Chief Ray Smith sent to all staff proposing to reduce staff numbers by 9%. That equated to a reduction of 384 positions, 40% of which are already vacant. It said the agency is not proposing reductions to frontline services and statutory roles, that's vets, animal welfare, fishery and food compliance officers or biosecurity at the border. Critical parts of our economy and it makes a mockery of this government claiming that they're out there to support farmers, horticulturists. The agency had grown by more than 1,100 people in five years across biosecurity, regional on-ground support along with fisheries, animal welfare, trade and policy. Biosecurity will take the biggest hit with 130 roles to go. Hundreds of people are losing their jobs today because of your government's cuts. How does that make you feel? Well, my heart goes out to anyone who loses their job in any circumstances, but no government can live beyond its means indefinitely. As public servants were ushered into meetings to learn their fate, David Seymour was dancing on the graves of their livelihoods, responding to the News on Social Media Act posted, Good. It was reposted from David Seymour's account. The people are losing their livelihoods, and the first word that you can think of is good. I'm talking about a story where excessive government waste that's damaged every New Zealander's livelihood over the past six years is coming to an end, and that is good. So that's for David Seymour to talk to, but what I can say to you is, you know, we, you know, today, you know, it is a tough day for people. Would you walk up to someone who just walked out of the Ministry of Primary Industries today and got told that they lost their job and say good to their face, or do you just bash it out on the internet? I would say it's good that the economy is rebalancing, but there'd be no need for me to do that. That would be an odd thing to do. Is it good for people to lose their jobs? It is good that our government is ensuring that resources go to the front line. But the minister in charge of mega ministry, MB, hasn't sought any assurances the cuts her agency was today consulting on were not frontline roles. Have you, as a minister, sought assurances there will be no frontline roles going? I have left, I've, I trust the MB uh, our management and the leadership to actually consult in uh, good faith, and I believe that's what's actually so happened. So you haven't, haven't asked for that information? Uh, no, I haven't. The Health Ministry also called staff in today to discuss job cuts. It told News Hub in a statement the proposed changes could affect just over a quarter of the ministry's positions. That's about 180 jobs. Our priority as a government is ensuring that new spending is prioritised towards frontline services and towards income relief for hard-working New Zealanders. Job cuts, the price to pay for tax cuts. Jenna joins us now. Kia ora, Jenna. So how much further are the government cuts going to go? Look, the government has a mandate to do this. They campaigned and won the election on smaller government and tax cuts. And there will be a large portion of the New Zealand society that looks at the bureaucracy in Wellington and thinks it is too bloated. But that communication from ACT is tone deaf at best and downright hurtful at worst. There are hundreds of people tonight that are losing their livelihoods, people that are going home to their families, not sure of where future paychecks are coming from. We've just heard back from MB who said that that 111 of their staff will be finishing up at the end of the month following a voluntary redundancy process. Stop work notices on government programmes have resulted in a further 77 job losses and they have just opened another round of voluntary redundancies in areas of the agency that weren't previously affected. So this is very much just the beginning. There is a lot more pain to come for the public sector. Mm. In general, the government's announced it's ditching another piece of le legislation. 
Yeah, that's right. Paul Goldsmith has issued a stop work notice for the Law Commission to stop all work on the hate speech legislation. Now, this is what resulted out of the Royal Commission into the March 15 terror attacks in Christchurch. It was too hot for Labour to handle. They got increasing heat for it, so they kicked it over to the Law Commission. But Paul Goldsmith says that National never supported it because they were worried about free speech and free expression. So he's put the kibosh on it. Jenna, tēnā koe.